Welcome back, Gamer Nation. Stephen Thomas here with another episode of FIFA 22, the Sir Francis Drake playthrough. As you can see in the top right, I had some microphone issues, so this intro is not going to match up with what I'm saying in the picture. I'm actually post-recording this and trying to line it up properly so that it goes in line with what you see here. I do apologize for this, but you know what? As I always say, professionalism first. So drop the video a like down below and let me know that you appreciate, even though that I'm not perfect, I do try to give you all something. As we take a look at the standings, Sir Francis Drake is in sixth, and we've got a lot going on today with two competitions. Three, excuse me. First one is Burton Albion. You can see Patrick Amadi Halloway up front with Smith, Morris and Powell in midfield, Blake Tracy and Hammer on the edges in the back, Brayford, Oshijaja, whatever, Ed Shaughnessy, and then Garrett in goal. Only changes we got, we got Ojukwu in there for Varga, uh, Kalua and Seawald, I think, are back in, and then Kornick and Bravo up front again. So we're hoping to have some success with this game. Again, I do apologize for this post-recording. It does not last the whole video. It's only like the first three minutes or so, so hopefully... It won't look like a cheap Japanese old school TBS made for TV movie. But here we go. As you can see, that great editing, the start of Francis Drake and Burton Albion. And we'll see what goes on here as we go over to Seawald. We're going to try to move the ball around a little bit here, is what I'm sure I was saying. We got Ojukwu out there. He's got some fresh young legs. And he gets taken down early. And that is going to be the referee putting us in a free kick situation. Or actually, yeah, 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 we get the free kick. I thought Kornick was going to throw it in there. Again, I've slept since I recorded this, and I feel really dumb about this. Seawall puts a nice ball in there. The head gets on it. Jago with a shot, but it's blocked by the keeper. And some excitement here early on in the first four minutes. Jago taking that beautifully off the chest. Jago's such a good player. He's probably one of our finest core pieces that we picked up early. He is aging, though, so hopefully some of the youth players we have will come on and be able to replace him in the future because that's unfortunately something you just have to do when players get older. Corner kick here. Nicely put in. Header goes up and wild, and it's just deflected again. Garot doing well today for Burton Albion just to hold them back. We have been doing better on the headers here lately, and that one was on target. It just doesn't make its mark as the keeper got in the way. But that will set us up for another kick or corner kick. This one does come in, clear, and that is in the goal, and that is in there, and as I said, we have been doing much better on headers, and that was Lamb that put that one in, and that will put the Drakes up 1-0, and that is great for us because we just needed that good start here as we're trying to mass points and keep up high on the standings. I know that a lot of you think that we're just trying to stay in League One, but I do think there's a chance for us to move up, but we're going to have to play... Balls to the walls is that one just what best header of the year, probably of the series. And again, if you haven't dropped a like for that, you need to right now as we get ready to switch back over to me being actually live with the play-by-play -play and all that good stuff. All right, so now that I'm back and I realize that my mic was off, y'all are going to make fun of me trying to sync up that. I'm just going to talk over it. But Lamb with an amazing header there. You can see how excited I was because I am. And then I look down and I see the mic bar is not moving. But we lead the Drake's lead 1-0 here. And an exciting start to this game. Noel with a great defense. He's going to send that one ahead. Bravo trying to keep it. He will lose it, though. And maybe we'll fall back into the game, but we're just, we're doing really well this season. Way better, and as soon as I start bragging, we'll see if we can get this one out. Oh, and that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my God, Bentley just destroyed that man. And they're going to get a free kick and a chance to equalize this game very early. Maybe I should have left the mic off. He does have an injury. Bentley is there. Bravo will send that one up. Ojukwu. Ojukwu with a good move. Can Ojukwu get it? He tries. And somehow we're going to come up with that. Maybe? Yeah, Bravo's going to come up with it. Bravo will turn around, bring it back. He's going to find Morris. Oh! And a good chance by Kornick, but it is stopped. No. Oh, Noel's broken up there. Oh, and it was just... Tried to thread the needle there, and he just couldn't get it through. And so far, we've just... 
the anticipation of us we've just been doing really well i don't like this though we've got lamb out too far mm. should have had that interception oh this is bad this is bad and it's gonna oh my god lamb okay jago is gonna get that i believe let's just clear this out a little bit try to get some space Two minutes of stoppage time here. They do make a play. Seawald will cut that off. And we will try to play that up and we won't get a chance, but we'll go into the locker room. An exciting first half we had there. 1-0 Drake's leading. Apologies again for the mic at the start of it. Uh, Normally, I turn that on first, and uh, I was in preparation of dinner putting a ham on, so I totally forgot to. But we're good going now. Drake's lead, 1-0. All right, second half here. Now with live sound from the beginning. We'll see what we can put together here. See if we can add some more to our goals. I'm going to be excited when Shehao gets in there. I think he's got a little bit more versatility than Kornick. Right now, we need to be worried that they are pushing up. Good block there. Let's see if we can hold it back. Seawald's going to get this out to Ojukwu. Ojukwu looking for somebody to move it through. Seawald will find Noel. Noel looking. Bravo. Bravo's got some room here. He is looking. He'll go over to Noel. And oh, and it was just a bad bounce. Cornick couldn't keep it low. And a wasted opportunity. Good pass through the middle there. I have to be very careful. And that shot looked about like Cornick's on the other end. Cornick. Hornick with a great move, and all the pass was just off. Usually Morris can hit that. We'll keep it, though. That's a bad pass there. We'll get it up to Ojukwu. Ojukwu trying to push this one out. Oh, and he's tripped, and we'll get the ball. And I think I'm actually going to pull the trigger. Let's bring out... Shihau, just to get him some minutes here. He may not produce much because he's going to be very tired. But we'll see what he comes out here and if he could do anything. Oh, that's got to be a card. They're going to come out with the ball somehow. This is not good. Patrick <clears throat> had a chance there. Oh, good Lord, Schofield, get to that. Oh, good Lord, no, 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 not like this, not like this. And that's going to be the game, thankfully. All the defense holds, we're going to take a 1-0 win. We looked amazing in the first half. The second half, we look like junk. But I'll take it, three points, and that's going to make us look good on the standings. Possession-wise, it was a pretty equal game. We should have had another goal, I believe. Another goal or two. Uh, Lamb with his header was kind of amazing. There was a yellow card distributed probably there at the end. It was probably given to him post-match. I guess that's a thing they can do. But uh, we'll take the three points and we'll move on. All right, matchup against Portsmouth here in game two at home. Curtis Zeng Yuning. So they've went to China or the Asian area for a striker as well. Brown, Thompson, Robertson in the middle. Hackett, Gilliam, Raggett. Johnson and Morrill in the back, Bazunu in goal. We've got Almeida starting at right back today in respect for Kalua. Vargas back in and a couple of different people. Forsyth in for Jago, giving Jago a break. And we'll see what happens. All right, nice home game here. Let's see what goes on. Should have probably checked the standings just to see where we're sitting at. 
We tried to go down the side to Varga there. It's going to go out of bounds, so a little rough start on the passing-wise. We'll see if we can him that up here. He's got plenty of people to go for. Great passing here by Portsmouth. Let's see if we can contain them. Schofield's going to have to go for that one, and he will do well to keep it out. We'll go up to Forsyth. Forsyth cannot hold on to it, and this puts us in a very dangerous position. They actually do a terrible pass. Varga's going to wind up with that. Varga's going to launch this one ahead. And that's a goal! That is a goal to Cornick right there. The counterattack was beautiful. Morris to Cornick, and the Drakes lead 1-0. And we are starting to roll right now. That was beautiful. Just he gets it, he pops it forward, plays a nice little touch, brings it over. Cornick just one times it. Keeper, no chance whatsoever. Oh man, Cornick's starting to look really good. Really, really good. Let's go. Drake's 1 0. We are playing lights out here in League One. Oh, that's not who I wanted to pass to. I want to go back, like a little back and forth with Cornick. Oh, Lamb, great defense. He will get it back. And then we're just going to hand it right back to him. Our passing atrocious right now in midfield, but so is theirs. We'll play this one up to Varga. Varga corners it. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, it was a great header, but he couldn't keep it down just enough. Bentley, great hustle there to get the ball back. Goes to, goes to Cornick. Cornick turns. Cornick, lots of room here. And he's got it in there for his second goal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. I have no idea what's going on in this game. Turn the corner. Had the man. He could have passed it. He takes the shot himself. Beats him on the inside post. 2-0 Drake's lead. Ah, oh, little EA keeper animation, but we'll take it. Cornick very excited. And they look like scoring more. About five minutes to go. Their keeper being very dangerous right here. Forsyth trying to work for that. Forsyth, he doesn't normally play. He's usually a center back. We got him up playing CDM to give Jago a break today, and they found an opening here. And this is very dangerous, and they're going to get one back right before halftime. Oh, and it looks like Almeida has picked up an injury, and that's not good. We'll have to monitor that. And that may have been what led to that opening here. Oh, we just couldn't get the coverage over. And here we were so excited. It was 2-0, 2-0. And then their Chinese star puts one in the back of the net and makes it 2-1 here right before half. That's going to be it. We'll go in the halftime, 2-1. The game is on. We controlled that whole first half until the very end. But Kornick, two goals. He's got a brace, and we lead. All right, start of the second half. They're still showing this injury for Almeida, but when I looked at halftime, it didn't show it. So I don't know if it's a legit injury or what. We'll have to monitor it. He'll probably be our first change. Good defense. Seawald's so good. We only have him on loan, so we have to enjoy him while we have him. Now, I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. Way out of position. Moro got lots of room. No. Great interception. Bravo's going to push this one ahead, and it's to Cornick again. Cornick. Oh! Oh! Cornick with an amazing move, but we couldn't make anything out of it. Oh my god. That was the greatest, like, stop pass ever. And we'll see what we can get here. Cornick. Go back to Cornick. 
Oh, and that was just cut off. Go back out to Varga. Varga puts that one ahead. Oh! Took down, have a word, ref! No, doing the run should have been rewarded, but the ref lets him get tackled. All right, all three changes. Shihao in for Bravo, Koch in for Morris, and Almeida is out. Just because I'm worried about the injury, so we got some fresh legs on all three stages of the attack. They're going to push. They've been pushing. Freeman looking. Oh, great move there. And that's an equalizer. And they played us like a fiddle here. Oh, we started off so well. And then we've given up here at the end. Oh. Noel just got beat bad there and just what a one time shot. Schofield didn't have a chance on that one. Oh, that was so beautiful. Well, if we're going to do something, we're going to have to do it here at the very end of the game. That's demoralizing, though. So the ball is running again at two holes. Maybe I just made some wrong subs. You just never know. Five minutes left. Oh, and Varga gets his pockets cleaned. We'll see if we can move this one. Here's Shihao here. Oh, the coach. Coach up here. Coach looking. She had. Oh, it's Cordic for the hat trick. Yes. Let's go. Oh, my Lord. Harry Cordic with the hat trick. And he may have just won us the game. She how found the open coach. Coach comes in, puts it across. And what a shot with his right foot. And Cornick has put us back on top in the 90th minute. Let's freaking go. Yes. Harry Cornick obviously motivated knowing she how is back from injury. He's got to earn his keep. And this is one of the highest scoring games we've had in... I want to say the whole series. And they've got to do something if they want to uh, play. And they're not. Portsmouth's going to let the time run out. The Drakes are going to get a second win this episode. Drop a like for that. Cornick's hat trick, I think. I want to say that's our first hat trick we've had. And who would have thought that it was Cornick? I know he's had, a, what, a brace or two. And we've had another brace. I know Bravo had one, Bowman had a brace, but never a hat trick. Or I've got a short-term memory. That could have happened. Cornick scores in the 20th, 34th, and 90th minute. Let's go. I think it was a well-deserved win for us. I, I was really upset that they got that point there to equalize it, and somehow we come back. You can see the stats. We won five of our 14 tackles. One offside. They had three free kicks to and the, the refs had a word, but never with them. It was always with us. But somehow we come out on top. We'll take it. All right. Scunthorpe United has actually tried to purchase here uh, Oliver Elliott, which with Shigari coming back, there's a good chance that Elliott's not going to see a lot of play time. We've still got Collier, but I don't think we need four cams. Uh... I think this is a deal. We try to get six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars for Elliot and see where it goes. They've raised up to six hundred and thirty thousand. Let's go six fifty. Twenty thousand dollars, man. Just pocket change. Come on. You know you want to. They'll do it. All right. There's some more money in our coffers. Wanted to take a minute to look at the tables right now. As you can see, Luton Town and Sheffield are kind of running away with the league right now with the two automatic spots. It is very tight, though, from third place down to eighth place. So while we've been playing very well, we've got nine wins, nine draws, and only two defeats. 
Uh, we're nowhere closer to, you know, being anywhere. Shrewsbury is fifth in the league, so they're a point behind us. So this match has a lot of implications on it this early on. So we'll just have to see how this one goes. It's been an exciting episode thus far. Let's see if it continues. All right, Udo Bowman up front for Shrewsbury. Impindi Ikani, Lay, Vela in the midfield. Daniels, Nurse, Ebanks, and uh, Landel, Pennington, Bennett in the back, and uh, Marossi, Marossi, and uh, goal. Uh, we're back. Lewis back in. Jago's back in. Uh, we're not going to change much because we had a good winning formation. So let's go. <laughs> They're all about Harry Cornick today. Scored three goals his last game. Maybe I need to start every episode off with having my mic off. Seemed to work out. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. All right, let's go. Shrewsbury, Francis Drake, we're on the road wearing our powder blues. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me as you we'll see if we can uh, say push through here. Oh, no, great defense. But he gives it right back. Oh, but then he'll get it again. And here's Bravo. Bravo looking. Tried to hit Cornick. He has the hot hand. No, we'll get that one again. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Bravo trying to go through. Oh! Ah, oh, Cornick couldn't turn on it. That was a close opportunity there. As Bentley fights for the ball, he will not come up with it. Varga will, though. We'll send that one around. Seawald up to no. Seawald wants it back, so we're going to give it to him. Oh, and Cornick just mishit it. He could have had his fourth goal in two games, but it just took a bad bounce off the foot. Ah, oh, he was so close there, and he knows it. Go back to Pablo Bravo. Bravo looking. Bravo's just going to shoot, and it's blocked by the keeper. He knocks it down. We're going to have to sign Bravo to a new contract soon, I think. And Bravo beat on the outside here. Oh, and again! Cornick just couldn't. Seawald comes flying in there, takes out the, the defender. We're looking for the ball. And nobody can come up. What is going on right now? The referee's just like giving us all these. The high press was very much on. Oh, good lord. I don't even know right now. That's off. Jago's going to collect it. Jago, he's going to go out the side of the Kalua. And again, deep it's. Oh, and I think that may be a corner. It is. Man, oh man, this game. We couldn't come up with that one. We're going to Jago. Jago pulls it out. Seawald. Tried to make the pass, couldn't do it, and they're on the counterattack. Bentley having to come out and cover this. Bentley does a great job cutting that off. We'll turn around and come the other way. We'll go back to Bravo. Oh! Cornick, what are you doing? Don't stand there. Oh, my God. We've had so many opportunities. Jago looking. And he's going to go through. And here's Cornick. Oh, and it's blocked by the keeper. Varga. Varga. Oh, Varga couldn't make the turn. And that's going to take us to halftime. What an exciting first half. So much back and forth. Oh, man, we've got to really get motivated in the second half where we would have come out of this with more than one point. Good play down the side. They're going to turn it over. We'll go back the other way. Bravo going to play this one up. He's got Varga. Oh, Varga tried to get in the Cornick. It is the Cornick again. And that should be a goal, and it is. And Cornick's done it again. Oh my God! I don't know what we're gonna do with Cornick now. He is just on a roll. Well, here it is again, and I feel 
a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save. Uh, great save, but it comes right back to corner. He handles it well. Let's bring in Koch. Good interception there. We'll see if we can play this one up. Oh, and that's the corner. He makes a great move. Oh, and it's just off target. Oh, I thought he had a second goal of the game. He does take it left footed. That was not the way to go. We'll be able to make our changes. I had to go defensive changes. Both of our backs were wore out. Well, both teams have had oh. swarming up. And now both will so Kalua out, Amada in, Seawald out, and Adiemi in. We gotta be careful now. We're kind of out of position. That's a lot of room for him to have there. I don't like it. Could be threatening. Daniels looking. Daniels. He'll go back. Oh, Jago was trying to clear it. And that's stopped. Jago's got it. We're going to go over the top. They might be able to get in now. And here's Kornick. Oh, he couldn't get the shot off in time, and I don't think it's going to matter. That's the game. Oh, my God. Three wins. And it was the Cornick show the whole way through. My Lord, the man has done it. He has led this team all episode and is a superstar right now. Look at the game stats. We control possession just a little bit. We had 10 shots, and Cornick was the majority of those. I I really didn't expect it. I, I ragged this dude when we brought him in, and he has really just shown up. And again, I'm wondering if he's just motivated because Sheehouse coming off the injured list, and that could cause some issues going forward. We'll just have to see. So looking at the calendar for what's coming up for us, it looks like we're in the FA Cup second round now. We've got Wickham uh coming up so we'll have them in a few days we've got a week to rest up for them so we'll be able to put our best team forward on that and then we'll go back into the league games uh so next episode we'll have the fa cup second round and then a couple of league matches and then i'll have to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of uh december i may do since another game got added we may play three or four in sim one uh, we have to play the four screen. They're technically our rival. Uh, we'll just have to see who's the lowest on the, the thing and go from there. But all these matchups have been really close, so I don't know if we can really sim right now. I don't know if we got the team. But uh, looking at the overall FA Cup, here's your round two. You can see us against Wickham up there at the top. I'm not sure. I think they just redraw them every round from what I learned on uh, Football Manager. So, interesting matchups. We'll see what happens with this. And then let's take a look at the league table before we end the episode. So, in League One, we end the episode two points into third. We're still nine out of first and second. Luton Town and Sheffield really running away with it. Um, we do have a couple of tough matchups coming up. I do believe that Wickham. Is, yeah, they're at the bottom of our table. So we have a good chance of winning that game and moving forward in the FA Cup, which money is money. Uh, this episode's went by kind of quick, but just look at it, some of the stuff. Our profit is still down uh, when we had to go out and buy some things. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, I thought we'd be making more money, but I guess not. It says our projection is 6.49. Yeah, we've we've only made forty four thousand dollars in prize money. I feel like we've not got prize money on other things. What was the other thing we were in that they never really updated us? Uh, was it the Papa John's trophy? Yeah, we didn't get to see if we. Uh, I'm guessing we didn't make it through. It's got us shown at second. And Oxford did indeed lose by two goals. Does that mean we made it through to this? We do. We'll play Colchester. So we're through on both cups. The FA Cup, we're in round two and on the Papa John. So we've got a lot of football to play.
for the rest of the season. And I'm kind of excited about that. I don't know when that game's going to be. Oh, it looks like October 5th. No, that's not right. Round two. Oh, these, they don't have the dates on these. So I'm not sure when those will take place. Oh, it's here. It's the 15th. So two cup games. So next episode, we'll have a cup game. And in the episode after that, we'll have a cup game. I'm kind of excited now. I love elimination soccer. It's just, uh, or football. Don't get mad at me, you Europeans. But uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. So we're doing really well on all fronts right now. A lot of luck. Our team is tired. Kornick is going balls to the wall crazy. Leave a like for that. Let me know in the comments what you all are thinking. Uh, I'm still waiting on more. We should get a youth report coming up next episode. I believe everybody is out. Yeah, Brazil, Australia, Nigeria. Somebody did say Mongolia. I cannot check on that right now. I don't think Mongolia is in the game. So uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting right now and things are starting to heat up. So again, leave me some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions. Special thanks to these March Patreon supporters. They're so clever, witty, and they're probably hiding from the authorities. Party Commissar, Kiana Handy, The Least Expected, Azur Rain, Nicholas Absher, Zachary McKinley, Critias.